my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here so today we're going to talk about virtual summits how do you set up a virtual summit what are the steps to go through to set up a virtual summit to have one and we're going to talk obviously about what do I mean by virtual summit and um yeah so how to set that up I'm actually putting one on right now and I thought it would be a great opportunity for me to kind of show you what I've been doing and the things I've been learning and we're going to cover that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so what is a virtual summit a virtual summit at least my definition of it is basically a summit that's in the cloud right that's online it can be live or it can even be recorded and I'm actually doing it recorded and I'm going to kind of tell you what I mean and how that all works before we get into that though I want to make sure that if you're listening to the audio of this if you're listening to the podcast you might want to go and, and check out the video and the blog post at cis352.jsgagnon.com to to see uh, my because uh, I'm going to share my screen and do things like that all right let's get right to it let's go ahead and share my screen and let's just start from the very beginning let's where my screen share right over here all right so I have a folder here in Google Drive one of the things that I've done is uh created a folder now this is a test folder it's not the same as the one I'm actually doing right now but basically um you'll need a place to store files you'll need to be creating certain things and let's show you uh I got a note let's just start with the note the notes first you need to decide on a topic right you got to have a topic can be weight loss can be whatever your niche is all about do a summit on that right so then you have to find speakers you have to start contacting people to, to say hey I'm going to be putting on a summit would you like to be a speaker that's really the first step you got to decide on the summit if you can decide on the date that you're going to have it that's great but in the very beginning you might not be sure how long it'll take you to get all of it together and hopefully this uh, episode is going to help you to kind of think through what is it that you need to do to put together a virtual summit all right now we have these first two things this the next thing you need to do is uh you know set up a storage a, a place to keep all your documents together now it could be a folder to together now it could be a folder on your computer obviously but if you're going to want to collaborate with people uh which you probably will unless you're you really you really have the time to do it all on your own um you'll want to have a folder in something like google drive which is what I did so in google drive you just go in here and just say new and you say folder right you create a new folder give it a name <clears throat> and the cool thing about google drive is you can actually come in here and share the folder and everything in it just by sharing the folder so I'm right here in the folder down the arrow right here I can say share right and then I can just put in names of somebody I want to share it with right or you can give a link or but you know if you want to if you want to have somebody to organize things with you to be able to see the documents to be able to share then that's one thing you're going to want to do you're going to want to share your folder with people and anything you add here or anything they add there is going to be viewable by both or three or four or whatever how many people you're putting this together with right okay so number three <coughs> number four so the thing you're going to need you're going to need a, uh, a a way to get the information from the speakers now you could do it through email you could do it through like what I've done is I've done a form a google form under google drive you can actually well let's write that in here so um uh, put together to get well I guess I'll just uh, create way for speakers to apply right so you want a way for them to apply so you're going to be contacting them you're going to be having posts maybe on social media maybe you're going to be uh creating uh ways for them to get you need a, a way for them to get a hold of you now it could be sending you an email or you know one of the cool things about google drive is you can have um create 
google form right so you can create a google form so in the drive here you can say plus and you'll see you might not have google forms in your list here because if you've never created a form then you just click on more and you'll be able to find it otherwise you can also just go in here and you say google google form I just want to create a google form it's going to show you google forms you can actually go to there and it'll take you to there and you're going to say go to google forms like this that'll take you to the forms you can just create a form right so in my case I've already gotten my google form set up and I can just say new and I can say google form and I can just create a new form here so speaker registration right and then you can ask them uh over here you just add a question let's just say I want to ask them uh your profile your profile link right and then I want to this is going to be a short answer then I'm going to say I want to have your your topic and this is a short answer and then I want to say your email whoops I need their email your email right so because then after they sub they, they they submit this I'm going to put required 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 so now we have the form so that they can register of course you can do things like uh, you know you can go in here you can choose a cover image um you can change the theme color right and change the color the background color a couple of different things you can change the font to you know something else there's different things you can do right um and then now you have your uh, your form here and you can put a description enter to be considered as a speaker for our virtual summit right the summit will be from date to date date to date and it will be pre-recorded so when I'm saying that I'm doing a summit where I pre-record so the idea is that you can have your videos available ahead of time you get them all done get them all ready get them all edited you do your interviews you record them using zoom or team or other mechanisms and then you take those videos and you, you you make them available over a period of time it could be three days ten days whatever you choose is the time that your summit's going to run and you can kind of explain it in here in this in this registration page right to give them a kind of a what is the summit about how is it going to work all these different things right so you can do that all right so that's the form then you can just go here forms home and I can just uh I got the other forms now I got this form oh it says untitled I forgot to give it a title let's just edit it double click and let's give it a name so it says speaker registration okay so there we go all right so that's the form that's how you get speakers to register so google form is is one of the simplest ways so number five <clears throat> you're going to need then to have an agreement to send them so uh write up agreement for the speakers so depending on what you're going to do with your um summit you might you're going to need to have the speakers agree to whatever you're doing right so you can get a lawyer to do it you can you know it's up to you really I, I'm not gonna I'm not a lawyer I can't give you legal advice and depending on what you're doing with your summit what the topic is and all these different things there's different levels of you know how can I put it confidence or comfort that you might have based on doing it yourself versus getting a lawyer so me I'm doing a summit for marketers that's going to be mostly marketers that are involved so they already understand how you know it works online and so I'm not I didn't go through a lawyer I wrote it up based on what I'm doing how the income is going to happen how they're going to get commissions how they can promote it all these different things so I wrote that up and I sent them after they apply after they apply right after they apply I send them this agreement saying I'm going to do this with your video this is how we're going to record it this is how we're going to host it this is how you're going to get income if you want to promote it you'll be able to do that you'll get this much commission on this and any sales speaking of which is number six this <laughs> decide on if it's paid or free right so if it's free then you have to have your speak your speakers agree that their content is going to be available for free to anybody who sees it right 
if you want to sell it if you want to make a, 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 a if you want to sell it then you have to have them agree that you're going to make some money off of their content right because they're they're giving you the right to use their content in your summit and you're going to generate some income from that so that has to be agreed on if they don't agree to that that's very dangerous territory for you to be doing something without them saying yes I agree to you selling this <laughs> so in my case what I'm doing is I did I did a free plus plus whoops plus paid pass right so the free um what I did is free for 24 hours so free for 24 hours and then a paid pass for lifetime for lifetime basically right so I did a paid pass for lifetime and a free and I'm also doing a 50 percent commission <coughs> so with 50 percent commission to uh speakers who promote it okay so that's what I'm doing now I've got that in my agreement I've, it's laid out how that works and then of course I need a way to you know um to have them promote it and all that so how do you so number seven so if you're going to be doing it a paid well whether you're doing a paid or not you're going to need a registration registration um funnel right you're going to need a registration funnel uh, plus an email list to uh, get people <coughs> registered right <coughs> so you need a funnel or a page an opt-in page or whatever you decide to use to have them to have attendees register and in this funnel if you're going to be selling it you also want to do an upsell or an offer right oh anyways I'm not going to get into that part because that's you know that's uh, more technical uh, but it's you know you need that if you're if you need a place for people to be able to register for the summit so that you can send them an email when the summit happens you can send them a you know today's speakers are this or whatever you're doing you need to be able to send them emails and contact them so that they know it's happening you can't rely on social media alone because social media doesn't let you do what you want it does what they want right no matter what you're doing so that's the registration okay so now the other thing actually before we talk about even before we get the registration you need to have let's do that here let's do that this is not seven uh, but seven would be you need to you need to uh, once the once the um speakers have agreed to then you need to schedule you need to schedule interviews now if you're doing a live summit then that means you have to have the dates decided and you have to um, have your speakers commit to those times if you're doing it live you know every for a whole week let's say you're doing a five-day summit every night every week a day at 7 p.m or 8 p.m or whatever your time zone in your time zone right you got to make sure that they're available on those times and you got to schedule that to me that's really complicated so I just wanted to do a, 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 a pre-recorded where I but it's the same thing I got to schedule the interviews although it becomes a lot easier to schedule when because it'll be you know it can be any time before the summit as long as it gets recorded before the summit once the summit happens <clears throat> then I make those videos available um afterwards right but you need to schedule the interview so what do I what did I do I use Calendly oh right by the way right here's the other thing so uh create a speaker to apply set up a place um okay so right in agreement before we even do any of that we need a place okay we also need set up a new Google so oh yeah you need a new domain set it okay you need a new okay <clears throat> so number three you need to uh um register a domain for the summit now you don't absolutely have to do that but I recommend it so that you have a domain name that matches your summit like for me I did bitcloud virtual summit.com right so I registered that domain because that's the summit I'm doing right now so I, I registered that right so then um after that after register what I did is I then I created another email address number four is create new email address 
to use for the for the for the summit right so I created I created bit clout virtual summit at gmail.com right so I did that obviously you don't have to do that those two steps are sort of optional right but I recommend it because that gives you more you know it looks more credible even though even though you know a bitcloud at gmail.com is still a gmail account it's become more acceptable but if with if you have seven eight nine if you have a, a domain provider like I have um if I go here you can set up your domain name to forward those emails to your to your um <clears throat> To, to, to that email look, look I'll show you what I'm talking about so if I got I got bitcloud virtual domain uh, bitcloud bitcloud virtual domain right here I just click on this obviously your provider is going to have different ways of doing this but I have the mail maps that if I uh so I have this which goes to this email address right so anybody any email to bitcloud virtual oh look at that oh my <laughs> summit I good I came in here to fix it right let's fix that otherwise it would not work so this is the email let's uh, mail map email. <clears throat> okay let's go back to here view okay so I have two emails so that means that anybody who sends anything to star at bitcloudvirtualsummit.com they can send info admin whatever it'll go to this email address automatically right then what I did is I created an email address so if you go to gmail right <clears throat> you can just say you can just go in gmail and say uh over here you just go add account add another account right so you can go in there I'm just going to close that one you can if you have a bunch of emails right but you can say use another account and then you can say create account right here for myself you can I don't know about the business thing I think it, it, anyway so I just put you know bit cloud and I say virtual summit right I just put that as the name I put bit cloud dot virtual dot summit obviously you do whatever you're whatever you want give it a password and and then you click on next and you gotta you know um you gotta verify it whatever it does all that so that's all good now that's uh okay let's go back here so that's the other thing so you create a new email so that allows that allows you to send emails as this organizer and you can have more than one person log in using that email right and then they can see the emails you send you can see the emails they send so you can have the conversation with your speakers without no without having to wonder what the other person said if you're if you have multiple people managing right you can do that <laughs> okay that's and the same thing is here I use Google Drive create folder right <clears throat> and share okay set up new Google I think I what was that I guess that was the okay number six seven eight nine <clears throat> okay so schedule interviews let's just put schedule interviews schedule interviews so that's the now now that you have your Google your new Google email you can actually go to Calendly right you go to Calendly calendly.com right Calendly let's put that in here calendly.com right schedule interviews calendly.com cr and create and create calendar so for you so now what you do is you go in here and you just say uh da, 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 sign up I guess all oh, right so then you would put your email you know bitcloud.virtual summit at gmail.com or or I could even say you know info admin at bitcloud virtual summit.com I can actually put that email because 
because it's linked to the gmail email right so the re the reason you but you need to have an email that you can actually receive emails from any of these sites that require you to put an email to register they'll send you some confirmation email that you got to be able to click on some link or something right so you have to be able to receive an email from that from this email right if I do that then I and let's just do that I'm going to sign up here and let's just go back to here I'm going to go back to here I already have a BitCloud virtual summit right here let's just let it load up and over here oh I already have it oh interesting I didn't realize that it would uh it would have noticed my so but anyway so that's what I did I did did two different events for me I did a discovery call and a summit interview because I'm recording the interview and I and some people might want to just have a chat before they decide to be a speaker and then uh, under uh, the availability you put in your times that you're available right and then you create and you can see calendar view right here you can see what what you're available as right and that allows people to book so if I go here let's go back to right over here if I go back to here now you can share these uh events directly you can have this this is you can copy link right here right for each of those two events both of the events if you have more events maybe you're gonna do a uh, uh, a 50 minute or a two hour interview or maybe whatever right depending on what you're doing you might have multiple events but the thing is that you can copy these links and you can send those as you know here go here click this link because if I go to this link copy link <clears throat> and if I go to that link right which is the link that you would share with people it'll come up with a okay here's a discovery call these are the dates you can book it and then you can choose your time zone right here they they can choose their time zone if they're in Saskatchewan or Costa Rica or whatever it's a different it shows in their times anyways that's that's the Calendly thing so you get them to book your interview and you end up starting to record it okay so what's next after that we've got then they schedule the interviews um and create calendar okay so then then let's say then you well then you record well actually this this is where yeah let's do the registration we need the registration funnel so with this when you're going back and forth uh, as you're scheduling everything you need to get so get their bio growth in profile profile picture <coughs> oh actually bio <coughs> topic and profile picture to put in funnel right so you need to get some image some something to put in the in your summit documentation so so people who want to attend the summit they know who's going to be speakers right so you need that as part of the whole process you need to get that and of course you you're going to want to go back and forth with them to confirm that they have the right um that they have the right information um <coughs> then what else um the registration funnel let's do that their bio topic and profile picture and then you have then you create a registration funnel okay so now number 12 uh you need place to host the summit <coughs> and you and and track their commissions if paid right so if you're doing a paid funnel a paid summit you're going to need a place to track their commissions if you're doing a free one you know that it can be hosted someplace where you don't track that but if you're doing a paid one you're going to want a place to track their commissions so in my case I'm using my platform right click eCourse and if I go to there am I logged in no I'm not logged in Okay, I'm going to just log in <laughs> as myself over here <coughs> sorry about that <clears throat> okay so now if I go I created two courses they're they're courses it's just a, a hosting site with videos and stuff right so there's two of them there's the free 24-hour access one and there's the all access paid pass so now the way it works in my case and you don't have to do it exactly the same way but the way it works in my case is I'm going to have uh, the the um, <clears throat> the 
the speakers promote the free virtual summit so they're going to just if I go to this right now it's still not uh, open but it's a, a hidden link or whatever they're going to share this they can go here they can please share so they're going to take this link here and they're going to share that link it'll have their name here instead of mine right so they're going to share this the free funnel <coughs> and <coughs> sorry <coughs> my apologies so they're going to share this and what will happen is that anybody who registers to be in to to attend the free summit is going to be tied to them automatically right so they're going to know that they're uh, Bob or Frank or whoever it is that promoted it they're going to be tied to them right so then what happens is the person is going to be on this they're going to get the email saying hey today we we we, uh, we posted this one today we're doing this whatever and they're going to be able to watch the summit right and the summit is going to be run over 10 days in my case it's going to run over 10 days and they're going to be able to watch the interviews for 24 hours every single day right for free now in each of the free videos there we're going to start off by talking about the VIP pass which by the way you can see there's a link right here whoops there's a link right here for the free VIP pass right um that they're going to be able to see it's going to be pretty much everywhere because we want to we want them to know that they can get a, a VIP pass and the VIP pass is going to change in price over time or there's going to be coupons and things like that but the thing is that anybody who's registered through the link of the speaker or the promoter and when they buy by just clicking here because it's not um it's not anyways they buy by clicking here the speaker who whoever promoted the free pass will get the commission of the uh this if I click on here for example it takes me to the to the paid uh, to the paid one which right now is showing 197 but there's there can be coupons for different prices and that's one of the things uh, that's all going to be anyways I'm gonna <clears throat> but that's the thing so I need to have a place to host it and number 13 uh I need to document whoops to document how the the speakers can promote the summit and get paid right so I need to document that so that that I need to create <coughs> there's going to be a document that's going to explain the process of the two cores the two like courses right and how they need to promote the first one and that automatically gets the person in that in as a referral of theirs if the person buys the course or buys the VIP pass then they automatically get the commission paid the commission are paid after 30 days anyways all this stuff has to be documented so you need to do that too if you're going to be selling and making you need to be able to explain to them how they're going to get paid because you know they they need to know that well, <laughs> I wouldn't promote something if I didn't know how I was going to get paid right <clears throat> or I didn't trust the process and all that so that's basically that's basically how you the things you need to do to set up a funnel the steps to set up a funnel I know it looks like a lot and actually it is it's more than I thought it would be uh, but once you have the interviews you have them recorded you can start to uh, get them ready and, and set up the set up the site for it and uh, make the videos only available on, on the on certain days for 24 hours you just do that by making the video available and you know stuff like that so all right hopefully you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.